Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're choosing to feel good. Be good. Doing good things this morning. I have not been on here in, it seems like, an eternity. You know, um, I've been fighting with my phone because, as you know, I do these videos from my iPhone. And, you know, I don't have no team and no big lights, camera, action stuff in my living room or in my home. But I, I do the best that I can from my cell phone. And I've been trying to upload the last video I did on a Wednesday, about two Wednesdays now. And I just was having so much issues with this iPhone telling me that I have too much memory. I don't have enough memory to upload the video. And so it was driving me up the walls because I could not figure out a way on um, how to go about this. I was deleting apps. I was clearing my caches. I was offloading apps and nothing still wasn't moving. It wasn't until I deleted the Facebook app. You know, one of my um, sisters said to me, <clears throat> she said, you're going to have to completely delete the apps and just go to, or through the web browser in order to log on to your, your um, the sites that you had apps for. You know, you still have your credentials saved in the iPhone, so the um, passwords and everything will automatically open it up. And I was like, hmm, I didn't even think about that. Because once you get used to doing something one way, you continuously want to continue doing it that same way. But I didn't think about that at first. And I'm like, okay, let me let me try this. So lo and behold, all of my gigabytes went completely down when I deleted the Facebook. I refused. I mean, for weeks, I was refusing to delete my Facebook app. And finally, when I said delete it, the Holy Spirit kept pushing me to delete it, delete it, delete it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and delete this. All of the gigabytes went all the way down. But I did not upload that video yet to see if it was going because it is over 30 minutes. So I try to keep the videos to the minimal. But, you know, um, I say that to say uh, I didn't give up. You know, most people probably like, yep, she gave up. Nope, I did not give up. It was really, really bothering me. I mean, burning me up inside. I would be on my shift late at night trying to figure this thing out. And then I would get frustrated and go to bed. I would wake back up and try to fix it again, frustrated and go to bed. So nope, I did not give up. I was trying and working hard as I can, working diligently to get it fixed. But it wasn't until I just quiet myself down. You know, we got to learn to be still so that we can hear the voice of the Lord. Because whatever the Holy Spirit challenges you to do or advises you to do, trust and believe that God is going to give us the tools, the necessary tools to be successful. And I know when I started these doing these videos for the new in the beginning of the new year that this was God's will for me. You know, he wants me to get on this platform and start showing myself out. Stop hiding behind the, steam, the scenes. Stop hiding and, and, and being quiet. I need for you to open your mouth. I need you to encourage people. I need for you to speak. I need for you to get on, start your ministry, get on this platform and start speaking to people. This is going to be something that is going to turn into something big for you, you know? Um, and so, no, I'm, I've, I have not given up. God has not given up on me. It wasn't until I quieted myself down that one morning when I woke up, it, again, it hit me. Delete the Facebook. Judith, just go ahead and delete it. It's like with me, I get so routine with things. I get used to doing things and I like to do things. Um, I know nobody's perfect, but I like to do it and make sure it's thorough. I'm thorough at what I do. When I start something, I try to finish it and I'm just thorough with it. So for me, the presentation is everything. For me, if I set goals, I want to complete the goals. I'm trying to be persistent in my life right now. And um, that's what it was. Like I, I didn't want to give up on a video. It, I deleted pictures, photos, and everything out of my um, Google Photo Gallery. My cloud is backing things up. So I knew I wasn't going to lose things, but I didn't want to delete that video. That video to me has such a message. And, and the Holy Spirit kept saying, you don't. Every time I went to delete it, it's saying, don't do it. You don't have to delete the video. Listen to what I'm telling you to delete. <laughs> so it's in our stillness that we can hear the voice of the Lord speak to us. It's when God say, I want you to go out there and step out on faith and venture out to do this. 
and that, that he's not going to leave us hanging. He's definitely going to lead, lead us to the right, um, the right people. He's going to lead us to, to the right team of, 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 of people and connections to help us grow. He's not going to have us put something in your mind and in your spirit and then just leave you there on your own. And that's me. He knows me. My heavenly father created me. So he knows me like you can't just leave me hanging because then I'm going to be lost. Then I'm going to go with the stinking thinking and I'm going to start thinking all of these things, how to go about this, how to do this, how to do that. And it's so unnecessary. You know, he's just like, I, I could see God in heaven shaking his head like daughter, you just doing too much. You be putting too much on yourself. And I do. I really and truly do. So, you know, I just want to get on here and share with you guys that, no, I have not given up on doing my um, videos. I just had to find a different way. I even ordered these cords off of um, YouTube so that I can connect it to my laptop, so that I can port the videos from the phone onto the laptop and then just put it loaded up on Facebook that way, you know, because I barely use the laptop I know I have to update it and stuff like that. So it was just getting, working out the kinks, ironing out the kinks, but I had to sit down and listen. I had to be still. And it's in our stillness and in our quietness and your peace where you can connect with God and you can hear him very, very clear. You know, it's, 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 it's so much, it's so beneficial to be in, in his presence. It is, it's so beneficial to us to be in his presence. God has given me so many things. I even beat myself up. Um, I had my inner circle, um, my inner circle class, my mentorship with my pastor last night. And you know, the things that she was saying is as if she's she's speaking to me. You know, it's like it's so many of us going through the same exact things, but it's as if she was speaking to me, as if she's nudging me to do what I need to do and stop letting it sit dormant. Stop being afraid. Stop being fearful. You know, take a 30 day challenge and knock these things out. Get it done. You know, stop making excuses because I'm only delaying my blessings. You're struggling and why? You're working a dead end job that you're not growing in. You know, that they're not going to let you surpass being the title that you are. You know, it's just a system of life, how it's rigged for us to get to a, a certain a certain place in life. And then you're stuck. You can't go no further. So, you know, God now is like a GPS. He reroutes me. He reroutes me to go a different way. Let's take a detour, daughter, because this is not it. This is not working for you. Now you done did that and you done hit a block. You hit a cement block. You, you, you crashed into a wall and you can't go no further. You, you're trying to go and you just can't go. It's like your car is not starting and you're sitting up there trying to start it and it won't. the engine won't turn over. It won't kick over. You, you, you're stuck now. You're stuck. But why you're stuck is because you're not being still to hear God's voice. He's speaking to you and telling you he's giving us the direction, the, 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 the instructions on where to go, how to go about it, how to do it. And we're not allowing ourselves to absorb what he's saying. We're not allowing ourselves to hear what he's saying. And so now here it is a feeling of we're getting in our emotions now. We, we're like, God, where are you? You forsaken me. You left me. I'm all alone. I'm by myself and I'm struggling. How could you do this to me? This is how I was feeling the past week, you know, and then physically I'm going through so much with hot flashes and, you know, I'm scheduled for my surgery now, October 3rd. You know, those of you that can remember, please pray for me. I will definitely mention it, mention it again prior to the date coming up and happening. Um, but that surgery is going to bring me relief. For some people, it's it's it's. I read that it's emotional because um, it's it's your uterus. Like I have to have a full, a total hysterectomy in order for me to feel much better than what I've been feeling these past few days. Um, and I'm excited. You know, it sounds crazy, but yes, I'm excited because it's so much that's going to take place. After that surgery, like I'm going to feel better, you know, I'm going to heal better. 
Um, I'm going to be able to operate better. I'm going to be able to go back to the gym and do more exercising because exercise is everything. It changes your mindset. It works your, your inner being, your core, your builds up, your building up muscles. Your digestive system is flowing much more better. You know, so this surgery is opening up new doors while I'm on my healing bed. Thank you, Jesus. God is already showing me that doors are going to open for me like never before. The things that I need to see, the things that I need to work on, I will no longer be struggling financially because God is going to do it. He already showed me what it is that I need to do. He just said, be still, daughter. Be still. Be quiet in my stillness and hear what it is I'm trying to tell you. Stop trying to be so fast and do things on your own. Stop overwhelming yourself and stressing yourself out about unnecessary things that you can't fix or change. Let me do it. I'm bigger. I'm greater. I can take it. I can hold all of that weight. You can't deal with it. Because you're crumbling and you're falling down. And now you're binge eating. You're eating all this junk food, all this sweet and salt that's going against what you should even be eating. It's just like one thing, one negative thing causes this negative train re, um, chain reaction of toxicity. And it's, that's God saying, this is not where I'm taking you. You're not listening. You're not listening to me. So I need for you to be still and hear my voice. Be still so I can guide you. I'm sending people with a word for you, with a message, and you're listening to the message, and you're crying over the message, and you're praising and rejoicing over the message, and you know the message is for you. But then when you get off of that platform, you're back to the square one again. You're not allowing yourself to absorb the things that I'm telling you to absorb. And so I had to sit still. I had to sit still. I was taking a shower and it was just this morning that I'm realizing why God brought me down the road of my career path. My jo the jobs I've had, I should say, you know, he, he, he made it possible for me to get into law enforcement. You know, he made it possible for me to work different tours, different shifts. He made me get a feel of it. You know, and then I, I went into this overnight shift that I'm in and it's on weekends and here it is medically. I can't do it anymore. My doctor's like, you, you can't, you, you cannot with, with you having sleep apnea, sleeping is not an option for you. You need to sleep. Your CPAP is a must because what happens with you in sleep apnea is you stop breathing in your sleep, Judith. So you can't take a job like this and, and do the job. Even it's just that it's three days out of the week. It's three long days out of the week. It's the hours that you're working. It's killing you. Literally, it's deteriorating your body. Literally, it's going to worsen your heart. I already have high blood pressure and I'm pre-diabetic. He said, you're already go going against the grain. You're playing with fire. And so I need you to rethink it. And re God is like saying with him now, siding with him. This is two people going against me. This is my doctor and this is God. I told you so. You cannot do it. So it just gives me a feel that Tuesday through Thursday, I am in my own bed. I am going to bed how I used to when I was working for the police department in school safety. I was going, me and my kids was in bed by 8, 30, 9 o'clock. We was relaxed. I was watching TV. I was at ease. We got up. I didn't feel rushed the next morning. I was up by 5, 5.30. We started our day and the day flowed and I was just fine. I wasn't complaining about feeling fatigued. I wasn't eating the way that I'm eating now. When you work those late shifts, it causes you to binge eat because now you're awake and your mind is saying, oh, I want something sweet to eat. I want something salty to eat. It's not good. Your body should be being rejuvenated. You should be asleep at this time, not up at this time, eating at those hours. And then when I go home, no, I'm not even going right to sleep. As tired as I am, eyes burning and everything, I'm still awake. So that this is the thing that I'm battling with and not being adherent to what God is saying. And if there's many of you, because again, everything that we go through in this life, I had to learn that Judith, it's not only you. It's not only you facing adversities in life. There's people that's going through the same thing as hard-headed as you are 
right now, today. And so when you do these messages, although the messages is things that you're being transparent about that you have gone through or you are currently going through, other people need to hear it because they're going through that battle. They're fighting that demon. They're fighting that negative spirit. So you got to get out of your stinking thinking and get into changing your lifestyle. Because it is the only way. If you don't stop, you're not going to be around to see your grandkids. If you don't stop, you're not. You're going to be on disability. And the disability that you're going to be on is not going to allow you to be ripping and running and traveling. It's going to be putting you on a cane or a walker in your bed in pampas and diapers. Because you already have things that's going against you. A neck injury, a back injury, nerve damage. 48. I look my optimal best when I'm dressed and I'm moving around, but I have not been feeling my best because I'm not getting enough sleep. So God is saying to me, now I showed you, daughter, the different tours and the different shifts. You see what's not working for you. So now when I put you out there to go for this job interview, you're going to already know what you want. Just like that employer can tell you what they expect from you if they hire you, when they hire you, you can tell them now what is it that you expect from them. You could go in there with your list too. I want to do this shift only. I'm not interested in doing too much of overtime. I'm not interested in working with clients that's in a wheelchair because that's where my injuries came from. Like you have to go in there and be specific. And so that's where I am right now today in my life. Being transparent, being specific. Excuse me, I have to get tissue. Hold on, y'all. Because I've been stuffy lately. With the weather changing, getting sick. See, and that's another thing. When your body don't get enough rest, you start to get illness, you know, stress. Stress on the body creates illnesses and sickness, you know. With the hot flashes that I'm going through, it's getting worse. People's like, oh, my God, you're going to go into full-blown menopause. Oh, my God, guess what, y'all? I'm already there. <laughs> like, they be telling you things that you, like, as if you already know. The doctor already told me. I'm like, doc, I'm already there. I'm already there. Take the uterus, child. I got two adult kids, young adult kids, and I ain't trying to have no more children. I'm almost two years shy away from 50. I'm good. I'm good on the baby making, honey. Trust and believe I'm good. You know, so that's the next thing. You know, I'm with, with going through the menopause, going through the changes, the emotional roller coaster, the hot flashes, the pain, the, 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 the fatigue. It's just crazy. It's just so much going on in my life right now. My is, is, is unreal. Unflipping real at 48 years of age. Trust and believe is unreal, but I ha I'm hanging in there. You know what I'm saying? And so if there's any of you that's facing this adversity in your life and going through things, just hang in there. We, it's, it's nothing to it but for us to do it. And the only way to get through it is through prayer. It's through prayer. Half of us don't, we get up and we don't even pray. You get up and you start your day and you don't even pray. You just go on about your business, go on about your day. Here go a flash. And we don't pray. We don't do what God wants us to do. We don't take time and speak to God. And then when things happen, we're wondering why, why me? We're crying and saying, why me, Lord? I'm sorry. See, so much is going on with me. I can't even sit still, child. I'm burning up right now. Burning up. And I hate it because... I like to feel fresh in the morning. I done took a shower and, and I'm dressed and, and I'm feeling nice and dry and here go. I start sweating. When I tell y'all it gets bad, it, it is starting to get bad. So that's why I tell people, I laugh when they be telling me like they telling me something I already know. Y'all, I'm already there. I'm already there. And this is where the stuffiness comes in because my AC goes on. I get cold. I get hot. I get cold. I get hot. It's going off. It's going. Then I got the ceiling fan going over my bed. I'm just going through it. Okay. I'm going through it. Your girl going through it. So y'all please pray for me because I am going through the emotions. 
all around the block, all around the board. It's, it's, it's just a lot. But, um, and everything that I'm going through, I have to stay prayerful. It's bringing me more and more closer to God. It definitely is. It definitely is because I tell you, I've, I've, I've really felt like I hit rock bottom. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. You know, I, I'm so fatigued and tired. Literally, I'm drained. Mentally, I'm drained. I'd be having to get ready for work and I want to boohoo cry because I don't even want to go. I promise you. I'd be like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But then I know that the bills are there and you still have to keep living and you still have um, responsibility. So I have to go. But I'm telling you, the fight is real. It's real. But don't give up. Don't give in. Y'all have to stay prayerful. I'm telling you, God is listening. He has not forgotten us. He's He's not. He's, 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 we feel that way. We, we tend to feel that way that God is just not there because things is not happening as fast as we want it to happen. But I have to keep telling myself and the Holy Spirit had to chime in and say, you're right. Keep talking to yourself like that in your mind to let yourself know that God has not forgotten about you. He's telling you things that you need to be doing and you're just not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. So this is why we struggle. And this is why we have to do things over. And this is why we have to repeat things. And this is why we fall down and we got to keep getting back up. The thing is, you, you have strength to get back up. So you got to keep getting back up. You got to keep doing what you need to do. We cannot grow weary and well-doing. We cannot give up on God because God don't ever, ever give up on you. And I'm here proof in the pudding that God has not given up on me. He hasn't. Although it may feel like it sometimes, that's the trick of the enemy. Because that shouldn't even come in your mind. That is the trick of the enemy. The devil is telling you lies that God has forgotten you. He ain't working things out. He's helping somebody else. Look at them. They doing great. And you over here going through the struggles and he ain't helping you. It's a lie from the pit of hell. And so we got to shake that demon off because it's not true. That voice is not God. And it's just to stunt your growth and it's just to hold you back. The fear and the doubt that you are experiencing, it's the lie from the pits of hell. It's the devil. And when we start feeling that woe is me spirit, that's when the enemy comes in to steal, kill, and destroy us. Because you're vulnerable now. Now you're really feeling like you ain't going nowhere. You ain't doing nothing with your life. You trying to figure it out. You're looking at yourself, your age now, and you're saying, um, I'm, I'm this age and this is all I have. This is where I've gotten. Uh, you know, he makes you feel like poop on a stick. He makes you feel like you are just a huge, a big old, a big old failure. Makes you feel miserable. He starts to compare you to different people. Look at them and look at what they're doing and look at you. Ha, ha, ha. I mean, the devil will laugh at you. He will send people to attack you, to remind you of your past. But you've got to pray. You have got to stay in prayer because it's the only way. It's the only way to succumb his stupid voice. It's the only way to succumb the stinking thinking, people. The only way. The only way. So when I tell you I am ready, my pastor throws some things out there and says some things in that class that I know it's for me. I know what she say it is for me. But I have to open my mind. I have to be open-minded into change. Open-minded into doing what God is showing me. I'm sitting on a gold mine of a gift that's a gold mine. That it's right right there. The proof is in the pudding that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. That's my purpose. And this is how I'm supposed to be serving it. But because of my stinking thinking and because of me being afraid, afraid, that word that is not of God, it's holding me back. But I got up one morning and I got tired and I cried and I screamed and I bawled. And that's the beauty of being an empty nester. Like you go through things and you just could, you could just shed a tear. Because it's for years I wouldn't, I won't cry around my kids. I promise you I will not shed a tear around my children. And I will not put that emotions on them. Especially Javel. Because my son doesn't express himself through verbal. He will hold things in. And hide it. And so 
I don't cry around my kids, but being an empty nester, I can do so many things. I can just release how I want to release. Pray, I prayed all day. I in here, I screamed and rejoiced all day around my children. But when it comes to letting out the tears and what I'm going through and enduring, certain things I won't even think to share with them. You know, because I know how they're built and what they can stand. And then I don't want those problems on the on the weight of, on the weight of their shoulder because it's for me to fix. You understand? It's for me to go through it. And so God is helping me through it. God is working me through it. And in here, I'll be having my own revival. I'll be here having my own retreat in my house. And that's what y'all have to do. Y'all have to get deep down and dirty in prayer. I, it's no special way and no perfect wording. Like you, you have a syllabus to follow with prayer. No, 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 no. Y'all just get down, open your mouth and start professing to God what you're going through, what you need, what, what needs to change in your life, what you need help with. You just got to get down and dirty with him and just have that conversation. Start crying out and pouring your heart. And that's where I was. I got out of bed right on my knees, rolled up out that bed and got into it with him. We had to have that conversation. And so now he's like, okay, I'm giving you the tools. I'm telling you what you need to do. And you're not listening. It's you. It's not me. It's you, daughter. You're not listening. Your head is as hard as a rock, as solid as a coconut. You need a hammer to break the coconut open. You don't listen. And that's the conversation that I had with my heavenly father. So the same way that you're going through things and you and I had conversations with him is the same way that you if you're going through the same things I'm going through or whatever you're going through, you can have conversations with God. He's waiting for you. Yep, he's big enough to handle everybody in this world situation. Everybody. So I just want to share that with you. I'm not giving up, y'all. I'm not giving up. I'm fighting with different things with my health, decisions and choices, with, with, with jo uh, job, career, school, this, that, and the third. I'm going through a lot, finances, but I'm telling you, I'm hanging in there and I'm not giving up. I refuse to quit. So if I refuse to quit, like I told y'all, this is a winning season. We're approaching the ending of 2023. Prayerfully, we're all going to, when that ball drop, we're all going to see 2024. We got to keep on pushing. We cannot give up. Don't give up, y'all. Every day that God gives us breath in our bodies, we got to get up, get dressed up, and show up. We got to do our best. Don't let nobody tell you that you ain't worthy, that you can't do it. Throw your past up in your face. That's the trick of the enemy to throw us off key. That's all. So don't, don't even fall for the okie doke, okay? Don't fall for it. Just know that Jesus loves you and uh, so do I. I'm so happy that I can get back on here and um, do these videos again. I am ecstatic. If you don't catch videos, I have to post up a link. I think I did put it on Facebook though, my YouTube link, because I try to put the videos on both platforms. So in case it can get on one, it's on the other. But um, yeah, today is a day that you should choose to be lovely. You should choose to be happy. You should choose to be peaceful. You should choose to be still so you can hear God's voice. That's the biggest thing ever. And you should choose to pray. Okay? So have an already blessed day. Much love to you all. Be safe, be blessed, and stay well.